Hello okay. everyone, welcome back to Cloud Consultant YouTube channel. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna have a real time hands on uh, on AWS Bedrock knowledge base. In previous video, we have gone through uh, about theoretical presentation on what AWS Bedrock is and what are the key benefits and uh, what are the different uh, foundation model that is provided. Uh, uh, and today I'll be deep diving into Amazon Bedrock and exploring how to create a knowledge base uh, using a quick create method, you know. So uh, we'll use a real, uh, uh, like real world data uh, in PDF format and, and try to um, query those PDF out of the uh, chatbot, right? So. Um, in short, it, it would be an in-house uh, documentation uh, which I'm going to maintain in our history bucket. And uh, using the Bedrock knowledge base, we'll try to create a chatbot where um, our data can be retrieved from your uh, documentations and the same API can be used uh, in your application. So yeah, as seen, as mentioned in the previous session that will be more of, will be using this. So we have a knowledge base getting stored in S3 bucket and uh, uh, we have the user do the query, right? So it, it, it get performed uh, over the documentation, but eventually it also get modeled uh, over this uh, data source and it gets the answer, right? So uh, I will try to perform this, uh, uh, this uh, demo with the, uh, um, Amazon Bedrock Knowledge Base, and we'll try to use one of the model, uh, text-based model, to get the answers. Yeah, let's start the demo. Okay, so first uh, we'll log into AWS Console and go through AWS Amazon Bedrock. Uh, in the left-hand side, um, select the Knowledge Base under the Builder tool. Um, uh, you have option to create the uh, knowledge base. So we'll use option called knowledge base with a vector, st vector store. Um, and uh, here we can give a name uh, in house. Presentation. And I'll be using, I can give the description. We can use a service role. So this is mainly for accessing your, uh, uh, allowing the bedrock to access the S3 services. So um, uh, you can use existing URL uh, uh, role or you can also ask to create a new URL. So I'll keep it same. Um, as a data source point, uh, if, if you see here, there is a lot of options like uh, S3, you can bring as a web, your web crawler, uh, you can have your data store with a custom um, Confluence, Salesforce, SailPoint. So I think they're coming up with a more and more data source uh, down the line. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I'll go with Amazon S3 where I have already, already stored the S3 bucket uh, with, a, with a set of a PDF file. So moving on to next, I have, I can give the name and data source like, internal share folder pdf documentation uh, i have a data uh, already stored in s3 bucket so i can just try to browse this um i can I think i'm using i have data so if you see i have all the data getting stored uh, in PDF format and JSON format uh, in in this this for this bucket and under this folder, uh, I just have to choose that folders uh, where I want my um, knowledge base uh, uh, query model to query that uh, location. So yeah, I think there are options like parsing strategy, foundation strategies. So I'll keep it as Amazon Bedrock default parsing, mm, chunking as well as a default chunking. So it has some native option to integrate with the Lambda functions, uh, but in my use case, I think I have very straightforward to query the S3 data, so I'll not use this option. Um, go to next. Here is the main option. Like, you know, once you select the data source, you have to select the option call which particular uh, uh, model that you want to choose. Uh, so I will be choosing a model here. Um, 
like uh, Titan text embedding version 2. So this is an Amazon product model, so, which is a text to text model, uh, which will query or uh, re read the PDF document and can and and provide the data out of that. So yeah, so apply this. Um, here I'll keep as a vector dimension maximum so that is 1024. So um, um, and then and uh, how do you want to store this data uh, uh, under the model database uh, in a vector database? So there are options like you can use open search serverless, which is uh, which is which gives you like text based keyword uh, uh, request. Mainly they have other option as well, Amazon Aurora, Postgres serverless and Amazon Neptune, other options. So this is like production readiness. So I'll go ahead with the serverless database uh, for the vector. Um, I think, yeah, next. And I think this is a page where you want to review and create uh, with you the data source and you know, what model you're gonna use on data source and what are the, where is your gonna store your vector data. So that location and I think yeah create the knowledge base so uh, it is I think this will take some time to complete okay I think my knowledge base is created successfully so um, since we use a data source from the SD location and the vector for vector uh, we use open search serverless so it has in behind the scene it has created the serverless open search uh, for storing all my indexes database um, uh, and uh, once this is done I think uh, we have to get the uh, get the data source to be synced with your uh, uh, knowledge base um, so I think I, I had I need the option called syncing so it will take some time to sync the data uh, uh, to to uh, this and um, I think once that data is getting synced properly, uh, yeah, I think, it, I think it's done. So on now the my main other task is to uh, apply the model, which model you want to use to uh, run the query on those uh, data uh, indexes. So apply here, and then I think I am done this model applying, and then I can run the query uh, like so. Uh, what is the Amazon doing uh, in the field of generative AI? So that's a question that I want to run and check uh, if I get a response from the uh, data source. Um, so it says that I couldn't find this, uh, but it, it, uh, what is it? Um, but I couldn't find specifically about Amazon. Okay, so it is it couldn't find the data from that but it has given the response uh, from the field. I'll ask some questions more about uh, the vision of Kuiper. So that is also part of our data source. Mm. So it's doing that, it's, it's reading from the uh, PDF. So I got the response, proper response for this, this query where it gives the option you know, like how the Amazon Vision Project Kuiper it's, it's generally reading, reading the locations from where it, it, it found that, right? And, and, and has given the information about this. So if you see, if I make it more big, yeah, it can give you the locations, uh, which particular location in which file the data was found and how the, it, it has been done a metadata uh, in the chunks. So yeah, I think that was more of wanted to show the chat so once this is done so this is very simple uh, uh, knowledge base you can create on your own internal in-house documentation and use this api with your uh, within your applications and so build your custom chatbot so that's it i think um, thanks for joining um, i think just to recap again i think uh, better knowledge base was like uh, uh, entirely uh, syncing your data from S3 and then uh, giving the results. So that's a more of a, a thing. I'll be uh, uh, doing another session on the uh, knowledge of like building AI agents, uh, bedrock agents um, in next video. So yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for joining. Uh, see you in next video.